Fine. What is your program now? Now I will relax for a while after the lunch. I will go out on my business. Well, take rest and I will arrange for the lunch. Come, let's have our meals. <coughs> Uh, thanks. Uh, you thanks. Ha uh, you have taken a lot of <coughs> trouble for me. What a number of dishes you have prepared. Not uh, at all. Rather, it is a pleasure. Uh, you have done a lot for me. I am really grateful to you. No, mention. Please, well, when can we expect it? you back in the evening uh, around seven o'clock please don't bother to prepare anything special expect chapati and dal as you wish how was the day you are work done not not yet i couldn't meet few persons I hope to see them tomorrow. You look tired. Your bed is ready in that room. Have a sound sleep. Good night. You are right. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Aren't you going to your office today? Of course, I am. What's the time? Get up. It's a, it's a half past seven. Oh, half past seven. Hurry up. Otherwise, you will... <coughs> miss the bus. Uh, right. Who is in the bathroom? It's Babu. Hurry up, Babu. I am getting late. By the time Babu has his bath, you can brush your teeth. Oh yes, where is the toothpaste? On the wash basin. Coming out of the bathroom, get in, Papa. Well, Babu, sign my shoes quickly. Uh, Papa, one lace is torn. Go quickly. Uh, go quickly and get a lace from the nearby shop. Hurry up, Babu. Lest your papa should be late, you are quite careless yourself. Don't bother me. See, my shirt is to be ironed. <coughs> I am in the kitchen. If I leave cooking, you will be late. Uh, I know. Uh, it, but can, cannot help it. If you do things at the right time, you won't have to rush at the 11th hour. You are right. Where is my tiffin box? Come now, you better take your breakfast. I will pack your tiffin box. Wonderful. There are still a few, min few minutes left. Let me iron my shirt. I leave it. Where the other one? Have kept it ready. How is your father now? Better than before. Who is Treating him? Dr. Kumar. What does he say? He says that the liver does not work properly. Why don't you take him to the hospital? He gets nervous at a the mention of the hospital. For how long has 
be been ill for the last two months. He wa he has become gone very pale. He must see consult a specialist. Father has faith only in Doctor Kumar, and sometimes faith can miracles. Has he shown any improvement? Yes, but he will take time to recover fully. Let him take enough rest after recovery. Of course, why not? Many patients after recovering start doing things against medical advice and have a replay, relay pace. Uh, thanks for your suggestion. Any restriction imposed by the doctor? Yes, he has recommended only liquid diet. Well, any service for me? No, thanks. Do come off and on. <coughs> Hello, how are you, Nandan? I am very fine. How are you, Rajan? Where are you going? Uh, my shop. How is your business? Not good. It's very dull these days. Why? What's the matter? Depression has a, has affected everybody. Oh, that's the trouble. This, there is a crisis in. Uh, this is a crisis in business. Don't lose heart. God helps those who help themselves. Hospital. Yes, but I am so helpless that I found it difficult to meet both ends meet. I have somebody with you. Well, where is your younger brother? He is Madras. What's he doing there? He is get training, getting training. What's he learning? He is getting training in printing technology. Has he finished his studies? Yes. After graduation, he left for Madras, getting this training. What will? He do after that. He will install a print press. Good, good. Not a bad idea. But you know, there is a paper presses these days. Yes, but don't you know that many paper mills are to be set up in the in the next five year plan. How do you know? The Planning Commission of India has declared so. Is it? Tell me more about it. You know, India is short of foreign exchange. That's right. And India is not in a position to import paper from other countries. That is why the Planning Commission has proposed to establish many paper mills in the next five-year plan. I see. Well, when will your brother be back? After four years. Of course, there won't be any shortage of paper in the market by that time. Hmm? <coughs> Till what time were you studying yesterday? I was studying till. Ten thirty last night. Do did you go to sleep immediately? No, not at all. I was listening to some very good songs from the radio. Till what time were you listening to the radio? I was listening to the radio only till ten forty-five p.m. What did you do after that? After that, I was preparing to go to bed when my friend Raju. Came to invite me for a cup of black coffee. I heard that you sold your field. Is that true? Yes, we sold our field and we started business. What were you growing in your field? 
for several years we are growing paddy after that we are growing cocoa we were not getting any profit from it were you growing anything else with it no we are growing only cocoa then expenses we were only rising naturally we sold out our field master what can you do i can do anything and everything right can you speak english well yes i can speak english rather well i studied in an english medium school can you dig a hole in the garden yes i can do that too can you kick a football well sorry i don't know the game i cannot kick a football well you may come for work this evening itself or tomorrow thank you sir you may work in the garden or in the farm it may rain today so i shall come tomorrow okay, okay. then see you tomorrow mm-hmm. i shall pay you rupees 550 a day you may go now softly can this be true it may be true after all thank god Mm-hmm. what happened did you get the job yes i got the job i was afraid i would not get it what did you tell him i told him that i could do anything i was afraid that he might send me away yes he could have done it the master told me that I could work in the garden. When did he tell you go to for work? He told me that I could go for work tomorrow itself. Now we can send our son to an English medium school to study. You wish might come true now. Thank you. Sports institutions and their projects learning outcomes the learner gains knowledge about various institutions related to sports we learned about institutions related to sports in 17th standard let us now understand something about sai and kerala state sports council that aim at the upliftment of sports explanation by the teacher sports authority of india sai is a society formed by the central government on january 25 1984 with the aim of uplifting sports and securing and utilizing the infrastructure built for the 1982 asian games sai aims at finding the right talent in sports intends to provide excellent training experience in international competitions providing scientific training making sports equipment available monitoring scientific training preparing national teams improving in factor and creating quality teachers and coaches 
the central government selects talented persons in sports and provides hostel facilities at various centers through SAI. These hostels provide free accommodation, sports equipment, education, insurance, etc. Kerala State Sports Council Kerala State Sports Council was started in 1954 with the aim of encouraging sports in Kerala. It is this institution that monitors majority of sports projects of Kerala State. Centralized Sports Hostel is a project of Kerala Sports Council. Here, combined sports stars are given expert coaching by providing them with all facilities. Regular and proper practice can make you perform well. Sports Authority of India and Kerala State Sports Council two important institutions that work under the central and state, state governments respectively. The sports projects of SAI, the following are the projects of Sports Authority of India. National Sports Talent Contest. The, this project envisages transforming the children of 8 to 14 years into future stars, adopting schools having good infrastructure. It provides education and training in sports. Indigenous Games and Material Arts. This project aims at encouraging local games and material arts. Eight events like Kabadi, Kalaripetu, etc. come under this project. Akadas. This project is pro promote resting in Asian Day Akbada, Ahmadabad experts providing training in wrestling. Community Connect. This project aims at giving help developing a proper lifestyle for citizens making use of the infrastructure facilities. In its five stadiums in Delhi, SAI provides opportunity for common people to play different games. Sports Academies Football Academy Jawaharlal Nagru Stadium Complex Cycling Academy India Indira Gandhi Sports Complex Swimming Academy Dr. Saume Prada Sai Pradaj Mukherjee Swimming Pool Complex Shooting Academy Dr. Karishinga Shooting Range National Sports Museum The instruction was founded with the aim of protecting the sports tradition at Dandanjan Chand National Stadium, 
ഇൻ മെമ്മറി ഓ മേജർ ധയൻ ചാന്ത് ദ വേൾഡ് ഫേമസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഹോക്കി ചാമ്പ്യൻ ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റീൻത്ത് ദ ബർത്ത്ഡേ ഓഫ് മേജർ ധയൻ ചാന്ത് ഈസ് സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ആസ് നാഷണൽ സ്പോർട്സ് ഡേ ഒക്ടോബർ തേർട്ടീൻത്ത് ഈ സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ആ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് ഡേ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ബർത്ത്ഡേ ഓഫ് ഗോദവർമ്മ രാജ ഹൂ മെയ്ഡ് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ്റ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻസ് ടു ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് സ്പോർട്സ് ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് കമാൻഡ് പ്ലാൻ എസ് എ ഐ എക്സിറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് സെർട്ടേഴ്സ് എയ്മഡ് അറ്റ് മേക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു എ റിയാലിറ്റി ദ സ്പോർട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫിസിക്കൽ പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ദിസ് പ്രോജക്റ്റ് എൻവിസേജസ് ദ എൻകറേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റീജിയണൽ സ്പോർട്സ് സ്റ്റാർസ് ദ ആർ ഗിവൺ ട്രെയിനിങ് ബൈ ദ കോച്ചസ് ഓഫ് എസ് എ ഐ സൺഡേസ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഏജ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റീൻ ആർ ടാർജറ്റഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് പ്രൊജക്റ്റ് ഇൻ്റർനാഷണലി അക്ലൈംഡ് പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റീസ് ലൈക്ക് ഹോക്കി ചാമ്പ്യൻ ഒളിമ്പ്യൻ പി ആർ ശ്രീജാസ് ശ്രീജേഷ് അത്ലറ്റ് ഒളിമ്പ്യൻ രഞ്ജിത്ത് മഹാശ്വരി ആൻഡ് ബോക്സിംഗ് സ്പോർട്സ് സ്റ്റാർ കെ സി ലേഖ ഗോട്ട് ട്രെയിനിങ് ഫ്രം ദീസ് എസ് എ ഐ സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് Let us read this news. Sanju V. Samson in Indian team. Sanju V. Samson, a Malayali, was selected to the Indian cricket team for one day cricket series, series between India and England in 2014. The excellent training provided by SAI Center helped Sanju to reach such heights. SAI has played a significant role in the achievement of Sanju V. Samson. Moreover, his hard work and dedication largely helped him to grow as a sports star similarly many such sports persons have emerged as stars from the hostels of kerala state sports council the sports projects of kerala state sports council the various various projects of kerala state sports council are listed below forms for the associations the kerala state sports council provides funds to the affiliated associations for conducting competitions and for helping the teams to participate in the competition service of the coaches excellent sports persons are provided with free food accommodation and a sports kit which can be used for training these are 32 sports hostels in different schools and colleges in the state and the centralized sports hostels functioning in seven, seven districts summer coaching during the summer vacation free service of excellent coaches is provided to the educational institutions as per their requirements 
അഞ്ജു ബോബി ജോർജ് അജയൻ മേഴ്സി കുട്ടൻ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണലി റിപ്യൂട്ടഡ് അത്ലറ്റിക്സ് ലൈക്ക് അഞ്ജു ബോബി ജോർജ് മേഴ്സി കുട്ടൻ ആൻഡ് ഫുട്ബോൾ പ്ലെയർ അജയൻ പൗണ്ട് ദയർ വേ അപ്പ് ദയർ കരിയർ ത്രോ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് കൗൺസിൽ ഹോസ്റ്റൽസ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ത്രീ നൗ ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ഗോ ടു ടു നൗ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് സ്റ്റാർട്സ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ നെയിംസ് ഓഫ് അതേഴ്സ് ഹു ആർ നോട്ട് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ഇൻ ദ ലിസ്റ്റ് സായ് ആൻഡ് കേരള സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് കൗൺസിൽ ആർ ടു ഓഫ് ദ ഏജൻസീസ് വിച്ച് ഹെൽപ്പ് ഇൻ ഫൈൻഡിങ് ഔട്ട് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് ടാലൻസ് ഇൻ അവർ കൺട്രി ദ ഗുഡ് റീച്ച് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഹയസ് ഇൻ ദയർ കരിയർ ത്രോ ദ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് ഏജൻസീസ് എ ഗുഡ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് അത്ലറ്റസ് ആർ ബെനിഫിറ്റേറീസ് ഓഫ് ദ സർവീസ് ആൻഡ് സ്കീംസ് ഓഫ് സായ് ആൻഡ് കേരള സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്പോർട്സ് കൗൺസിൽ ആൻഡ് ദ ടാലൻറ്റഡ് വൺസ് could be molded through the activities of these institutions i could understand assessment i could understand various schemes of sai i could understand various sports schemes of kerala state sports council evolution of computers i will learn about early history of computers characteristics of and limitations of computers different generations of computers latest developments related to a technology the computer has affected people all over the world changing and improving their lives in many ways where did all this begin and how did the computer get its present form to understand how the computer became this marvelous multitasking machine we shall have to go way back into history when humans were creating devices to count let us have a quick look at the early counting machines developed by humans early calculating devices ancient people used their fingers stones and sticks for counting or made scratches on a wall to keep count of their animals sometimes they even tied knots on a rope to record information bits in a bytes there is archaeological evidence suggesting that humans have been counting for at least 50000 years abascus 3000 bc early men needed to count positions mark days and nights keep count of grazing cattle etc led to the invention of the abascus in mesopotamia around 3000 BC it is still being used in many parts of the world such as Japan and Russia for its speed the abacus has a wooden or bamboo frame with beads sliding on wires these beads are used for counting and calculating napier's bonds 1617 john napier a scottish mathematician invented a calculating machine made of a set of rods carved by ivory it was called napier's bonds each rod ha- had four faces with numbers painted on them these rods were used to do multiplication and division pascalin 1642 blaise Pascal a French mathematician invented a calculating machine in 1642 called Pascalin 
the pascal line was the first calculating device that used gears as set of two third wheels connected to each other the pascal line could only add and subtract numbers leibniz calculator 1671 grotfried von leibniz a german mathematician built a mechanical calculator which could do addition addition subtraction multiplication and division punched cards 1801 joseph mere jacquard a french weaver invented a way to automatically control the threads on a silk loom this loom was known as a jacquard's loom jacquard's loom could automatically read the designs from punched cards and weave accordingly this revolutionized the weaving industry bits in bytes jacquard's loom was the origin of punched cards used to as an input device difference engine in 1822 british mathematician charles babbage father of computer developed the first mechanical computer called the difference engine it was powered by steam <coughs> it stored programs to perform calculations and print the results automatically analytical engine in 1837 charles babbage invented the first general purpose computer known as the analytical engine <coughs> <coughs> The analytical engine had an input, output, and a memory device. It could do, do calculations and store the results at each stage, bits in bytes. Since the analytical engine laid the basis for modern computers, Charles Babbage is also known as the father of computers. Tabulating machine, eighteen eighty. Herman Hollory, an American. Statistician invented the tabulating machine that followed the input process output cycle. In this machine, input was in the form of punched cards. Mark First, 1944. Howard Aiken, an engineer with IBM, developed the first electro mechanical computer known as Mark First. This was a general purpose computer which ran on electricity. It was a as big as hall 8 feet high and 50 feet long in ike 1946 in 1946 the first all electronic digital computer the electronic numerical integrator and computer and ike was invented by john p ecker and john w mounsley The name cost millions of dollars, occupied a whole room, and could do a hundred calculations in a second. It did not have stored programs. Instructions were given in the form of programs which were manually wired, bits in bytes. Lady Ada Lovelace is known as the first programmer in computer history. She was the first to introduce the concept of programming in 1842. how a machine could be made to follow a series of instructions generations of computers after the early counting machines the development of the computer took place in five distinct phases known as generations of computers each generation witnessed major technological developments resulting smaller cheaper and more powerful devices first generation computers 1942 1956 the first generation computers used vacuum tubes for circuitry magnetic drums were used for memory there were enormous machines taking up and their rooms there were very expensive used a great deal of electricity and generated a lot of heat machine language was used to program these computers input was based on punched cards and paper type output was in the form of printout 
Examples of first generation computers. Mark first. Universal Automatic Computer. Univac. Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator. Anaic. Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator. Edsag. Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. Edvac. Second Generation Computers. 1956 to 1963. Transistors replaced Wacom tubes. Computers become faster, smaller, cheaper, and more energy efficient. They still generated a lot of heat. Instructions were stored in the memory. Magnetic disk storage was developed during this period. Input was still in the form of punched cards. Output was in the form of printouts. Programming was done in assembling language where instructions were given in words. High-level computer languages such as COBOL and FORTRAN came into use. Examples of second-generation computers. IBM 700 and 1401. Atlas. More on Internet. Learners outcomes define commerce, define the modes of e-commerce, no e-commerce payment system, do online shopping, define video conferencing, define blog and list its advantages, list the advantages of social networking websites, identify the types of people involved in e-commerce, list the advantages of e-commerce Define ethics and websites of e-commerce, view online news, define news groups, use social networking websites. Introduction India is like a big library. It has greatly influenced our society, government and commerce. You have already learned about many of the uses of internet in your previous videos like email, e-cards, chatting, downloading, online education, and finding people. Let us learn some other uses and services available on the internet. E-commerce. You know about the term commerce. It is involved with buying and selling a product. You can see commerce all around. It may take different forms. Three different types of people are involved with commerce. These are producers, sellers, buyers. Commerce revolves around these categories of people. Producers are the people who produce different kinds of products or items and <coughs> provide services. Sellers are the people who sell items or goods and give services to the people. Buyers are the people who purchase items and services. For example, Amul produces Amul chocolate which the shopkeep, shopkeeper in your neighborhood sells and you buy it. So Amul company is the producer, the shopkeeper is the seller and you are the buyer. Electronic e-commerce or e-commerce means buying and selling any product online using the internet technologies. Many companies have set up their websites which provide the face facility to order and purchase their products and services. These web websites which provide e-commerce are specially designed and have some extra features. There are four basic modes of e-commerce available. Business to business, B to B. <coughs> business to consumer, B to C. Consumer to consumer, C to C. Digital middle persons, business to business, B2B. This refers to a company selling or buying products or services to from their companies. Business to consumer, this refers to the transaction that makes place between company and consumer. The company establishes website for its products <coughs> and services so that the customer can order any products or services and gather information here. <coughs> consumer to consumer, C to C. 
there are many websites offering free classifieds and auctions where individuals can buy and sell the abyss auction service is great example of c2c e-commerce where person to person consumer to consumer transactions take place every day since 1995 digital middle persons this refers to a company that provides information about several companies on a single website this company gathers information from other companies about the same type of products and services a commission is charged for every sale or purchase by the company hosting the website advantages of e-commerce there are several advantages of e-commerce some of them are as follows you do not need to go the showrooms or shops to buy products you do not need to carry cash from home to shop with a fear of losing it you do not need to search an item manually with the help of a salesperson there are no geographical or time barriers you can buy the products from anywhere in the world at any time by sitting at your home even small companies can go global you can save time money and effort e-commerce men payment system an e-commerce men payment system accepts electronic payment of for online transactions this is also known as electronic data interchange edi these online payment systems are used with online shopping and banking there are different types of payment systems like traditional credit debit and charge card new technologies such as digital wallets e cash mobile payment and e checks are also getting popular with people another form of payment system used allows third party companies like paypal to complete the online transaction for you these companies are called payment service providers over the years credit cards have become one of the most common forms of payment for e-commerce transactions but increased security measures such as the use of the card verification value cvv are required to detect any kind of fraud a smart card is similar to credit card that you can transfer electronic cash to your card from your bank account and you can then use your card at various retailers <coughs> and on the internet a popular smart card initiative is the visa smart card update usl a digital wallet e wallet allows users to make electronic e-commerce transactions quickly and securely digital wallets are small electronic packets packages that automatically supply information such as credit card numbers and shipping addresses for use in the e-commerce transactions e-commerce websites and ethics e-commerce websites are the special websites with some extra security features trust is one of the key factors for these websites buying products at through internet is very easy and simple but you must not do it alone or without the permission of your parents or elders there are num- numerous fraud companies which sell the products and services they may steal your credit card codes and pin and you may run up with huge bills of credit cards while you might have purchased products for a few hundred rupees only so you must be very careful why while buying products online some of the popular e-commerce websites www.amazon.com www.ebay.com www.indiatimes.com www.booksellersonline.com www.fabmart.com how do to do online shopping online shopping means buying products using internet you need an or there is an e-commerce website and a debit or credit card for this purpose notes for the teacher general learning a language means using it for a wide variety of purposes language is best acquired when attention is focused on meaning not on form words and phrases 
not closely related to objects and action remain empty and lifeless to young learners language comes alive when presented in meaning making context words phrases they are used to accomplish many useful purposes follow a certain system inherent in the language itself learners become familiar with the system through continuous exposure to the language in meaning focused situations interaction discussion and sharing of ideas among learners provide opportunities that elicit real information about them and their experiences and opinions encourage learners to work in pairs and small groups and let them to beyond the textbook by providing a variety of language inputs for spontaneous and natural use of language build on the exercise given in the homework and design more task activities in keeping with learners interests needs and surroundings employ free response exercise with more than one possible response promote reading habits through story reading not merely teaching stories as tests story retelling choral reading shared reading etc create class libraries for exchange of books and shared reading the library may also move with children to the next videos poems need not to be taught line by line word by word you may give a model reading but let every child read the poem on her his on to feel the richness of language rhythm and music of words exercise accompanying the poem are more for understanding the poem a whole than for teaching language items advertisement is also literary generally you will find out that some advertisements have been given on inner covers of your classes have a discussion in the class on these concerns you may ask them to do a project on these social issues and concerns such as educating the girl child environment and protection encourage learners to tell new stories narrate any any dots compose short poems in english or their own language talk about pictures illustrations in the book and cartoons in newspapers magazines don't get anxious about the errors they will make constant exposure practice and correction in the form of feedback will help them improve themselves by and by every page has a column for words and meanings encourage children to write down other words they find difficult along with their meanings in this video sound how do you come to know that a period is an in your classes you come to know easily that someone is at your door when he knocks you hear the sound of the doorbell at least of the time you can make out that someone is approaching you by just hearing the footsteps how is the blindness person able to guess which player closer to here sound plays an important role in our lives it helps us to communicate with another we hear a variety of sounds in our surroundings make a list of sounds you hear in your surroundings in the music room of your school you hear the sounds produced by musical instruments like flute tabla harmonium how is sound produced how does it travel from one place to another how do we hear sound why are some sounds louder than others we shall discuss such questions in this video
touch the scroll bell when not in use what do, do you feel again touch it when producing sound can you feel it vibrating as you learn in the video <coughs> to and fro or back and forth motion of an object is called vibration when a tightly stretched band is plucked it vibrates and produces sound when it stops vibrating it does not produce any sound we see that a vibrating project produces sound in some cases the vibrations are easily visible to us but in most cases their amplitude is so small that we cannot see them however we can feel them make a list of familiar musical instruments and identify their vibrating parts a few examples are given here many of you might have seen the manjira symbols the gadam and the notes mood boards and the kartal these instruments are commonly used in many parts of our country these musical instruments are simply beaten or struck can you name a few other musical instruments of this type you too can make a musical instrument <coughs> sounds produced by humans speak loudly for a while a sing or a song or buzz like a bee put your hand on your throat do you feel any vibrations in humans the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynxes put your fingers on the throat and find a hard bump that seems to move when you solo this part of the body is known as as the voice box it is at the upper end upper end of the wind pipe two vocal cords are structured across the voice box or lines in such way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for a, for the passage of air when the lungs force air through the slit the vocal cords vibrate producing sound muscles attached to the vocal cords can make the cords tight or loose when the vocal cords are tight and thin the type or co- quality of voice is different consistency is what turns average into excellence consistency is what turns average into excellence your direction is more important than your speed your direction is more important than your speed i don't believe in luck i believe in me i don't believe in luck i believe in me success takes time never give up never give up success takes time never give up always help someone you might be the only one who does always help someone you might be 
द ओनली वन हु डस डोंट स्टॉप अंडिल यू आर प्राउड बी राइस शाइन एवरी डे डोंट स्टॉप अंडिल यू आर प्राउड बी राइस एंड शाइन एवरी डे Life is short. Spend it with people who makes you low and feel loud. One day in my life. Life is short. Spend it with people who makes you low and feel loud. One day in my life. We rise by lifting others. We rise by lifting others. One bad chapter does not mean your story is over. One bad chapter does not mean your story is over. My story is not over until I win. My story is not over. until i win your language is our priority less expectation less disappointment less expectation less disappointment Don't regret the past just learn from it Don't regret the past just learn from it Don't stop until you are proud be rise and shine every day don't stop until you are proud be rise and shine every day success takes time never give up success takes time never give up smile it kills the people who want to see you cry smile it kills the people who want to see you cry